creek that I like to fish in and I'm taking my car because my motorcycle is currently not an option thing and they have uh, they're gonna total the scooter you know I'm just gonna take this it's good enough okay so I've made it to the creek not very exciting coming in a car but I've made it to the creek and now I'm gonna wait out and see if I can catch anything this is gonna be interesting because I have some difficulty walking good news is and I've said this before and I'll say it again I'm thankfully not allergic to poison ivy, which is weird because everybody's allergic to poison ivy except for me. Apologize for the knobby knees and the naked toes. I never wade a creek without having something on my feet because you never know when there's going to be broken glass or anything like that in a creek. Ooh, that creek water is chilly. The last time I was here, about a year ago, I was fishing with my fly fishing kit and the water wasn't quite this shallow. So my goal is to go down there to the bend in the creek. I've had this ultralight kit for close to 15 years. Mm, the water is cooling, and I like it. The trick with any kind of fishing in a creek or a stream is to look for the pockets where the fish are gonna be. So you look for places where it's a little deeper and places where there's a little bit of cover, like right over there, and you try to hit those places. I hate stick fish. The nice thing about an ultralight kit is it does allow you to fish smaller lures and it's not as much to carry, of course, which is always nice. I have grown to really like these trout worms. I use the jig heads from the panfish and trout magnet kits and they seem to work very well. The good news is with my broken shoulder, still able to cast because casting is all on the wrist. With the smallmouth fishing on this creek, this is the Chickies Creek, little, little Chickies, I think, possibly. But the smallmouth fishing in this creek is not great. There's part of my shoe that has come off. Off the bottom of my shoe. Well, okay. I still have the cork bit, so that's good. The glue just came apart. Well, I'll set this here and come back for it. Fantastic. Very common sound around here. I think some of these dove hunting. Well, I'm getting some hits. Love to fish. Wish I could have gotten here on my scooter, which is broken. Oh well. I went to visit my scooter at the shop yesterday to see how it was doing. And they told me it's gonna, the repair cost. Oh, hey, look at that. I got something. Yep. And he's no longer on the hook. Anyway, so my my scooter is very broken, and the parts alone are going to be over a thousand dollars, over fifteen hundred rather, which is also over a thousand. Strangely, trouble is the bike's only worth about that. And I've caught one. It's a smallmouth. I'll try to get him in the water as much as possible. Yes, I know, buddy. I know. I know. What we're going to do is lip you here. Okay. We're going to lip you. And then I'm going to get the hook out of you. And off you go. <laughs> About a six incher, I'd say. Not big. Nice fighter, though. There are fish moving, but I think they're sucker fish and some dace from the coloration of them. <laughs> Something picked it up. And then only had the tail. Oh, something's on it. Something's on. Not sure what. But something's on there. That's a creek chub. <laughs> That's a creek chub. Look at that. I caught another creek chub. I can tell you the creek chub because of the black spot at the top of the, uh, actually it's probably a she because there's no tubercules. Black spot on the dorsal fin. That's a creek chub. 
be fair, I think this is the first I've caught a creek chub in this particular creek. The nice thing about this is it's not bothering my shoulder at all because I'm not really using my shoulder, I'm using my, my wrist for the casting process. Oh, the whole thing came apart. Fantastic. Well, that's going to be uncomfortable. I'm not going to be able to get up that way. I'm going to have to walk back through the um, creek then. Mm. Was a time when I would just keep fishing in bare feet, but I'm old. And it's uncomfortable. I don't like being uncomfortable anymore. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to last, but I'll keep using at least the one foot. At least the one foot in a sandal, as long as it'll last. It was an interesting fishing adventure. Every fishing adventure is an adventure, I guess. Much more comfortable for my sandals fell apart. And this other one is falling apart now, too, so it's coming off. <laughs> uh, these sandals are very old. I don't even remember when I got them. It's a lovely place to be, though. Jeez. One of the things since my accident, my balance has not been the greatest. I get vertigo much more easily at the moment. Fall. Whatever you do, don't fall. I don't seem to be stepping on any metals or anything. That's a good thing. Following a path trodden by animals, which is good. Well, that was exciting. Oh, and uncomfortable. Note to self, when going fishing, always check to make sure that you are got your right fishing shoes. Because these guys fell apart and they're trash. Fantastic. So, while my scooter is in the shop and I am on the mend, I have been driving which is a fun little vehicle to drive. It's not fast. In no way let it ever be said that this vehicle is fast because it isn't. It's a 2.0, but it does this very well. Around the corners. The nice thing about something like this is I do go around the corners a little fast. I don't have to worry about tipping over. This is the Rally Edition, the Rally E. And this is 2013, first year they made them. Well, again, it's nothing like the original Dart from the 60s. But it is a fun machine. It's not built for speed. It'll never be a fast car. But they did some kind of weird thing up front that made it so good around the corner. Got some squeal! Fantastic! My taco boxes went flying, that's what you heard the clock. <laughs> but this is great, it's a great little car. It's just. And I added the cold air intake, which makes a nice little noise. This is good, it's, it's essence of automobiles, really. It has some extras in it, like the rear view camera and. Bluetooth and all that stuff, which I could do without, really. Don't need any of that. That's not necessary. I honestly would would have loved this car with just roll-down windows. Be blessed, my friends.